Okay, you guys, my husband did a thing for me for Valentine's. Valentine's is coming up day. And he did this cameo thing for me, and you are not gonna believe who he got to send me a message of encouragement. Watch this. Hey Throttle, Dixie here. I know I'm a little bit gussied up and that's out of character for me, but I'm actually out of town and going to a show tonight. And your husband Keith wanted me to get a message to you urgently to first of all, wish you a very happy Valentine's Day. He says that he pretty much feels like he's won the lottery in the category of wives. And he's so excited for you that you're out there finally living a dream that you've had for a while. And that is to through hike the Appalachian Trail. So congratulations on that. I, I mean, it's incredible to me that, you know, not a whole lot of people make the leap to do something like that in life. First of all, not even a lot of people that you know probably want to do something like that in life but the people who actually have that dream and then the seed is planted and they water it and it gets fertilized and they actually make it into an action instead of just a dream or a plan those people are so few and far between so definitely congratulations on being a person who doesn't just dream but chases dreams i think that that's awesome now he said that you haven't really met a whole lot of folks out there yet and that it's been freaking cold and i know that all too well but just take it slow make sure that you know if you want a day off in town that you're getting that day off in town because unless you have some sort of hard uh cut off point that you've got to be done by then just really soak in the experience and if it's cold and you decide you need a zero or two in town you've got a lot of cushion to still be able to finish the trail and take some time so don't let the cold creep into your bones too much to where you're just not enjoying anymore i know how that feels but he says that you're fast approaching the smokies so you've already knocked out a good bit of the trail that's awesome i know when i got to the smokies i felt like yeah, I've knocked off a good bit, but like, oh my gosh, if you look at a map, you are here. There's still so much to go, but don't let that discourage you because all those little bitty bits are going to end up adding up to a whole through hike. It's just like a bunch of section hikes all interwoven, you know, together. But the Smokies are go going to hopefully restore your spirits. Uh, uh, they can be, they can be a tough section of trail, but... The views are going to be great and especially when I got there starting March 29th I could see really well because the, the leaves still weren't back on the trees yet so and you've got a little spine that you'll kind of follow and you can see views on both sides and I don't know on the days that it wasn't raining on the Smokies but I mean it rains a lot on the AT as I'm sure you've figured out by now but there it the views just really made it worth it and there are those days where you're just like, why did I choose to do this to myself? But on the days that you've got wonderful views like you will hopefully have in the Smokies, that's when you know, okay, this is why. And it just kind of revitalizes your spirit on why you wanted to do it in the first place. So, and that might help too, if you sit down and make a list of, and maybe you've already done this, but I made a list of my phone, why I want to do this and what I will gain from the AT and then why I don't want to quit and and why what quitting would do to me and then I would kind of review those two lists if I needed to but hopefully before too long you'll have some folks catching up to you that are going your pace um, you know there are some people who are going to blow out of the gate really fast when they get started and by the time they catch you your miles will probably be increased so don't feel too sad uh, about not, you know, having a trample yet. It, it can still happen. So, but you know, when that happens, you may really value the time that you had out there on the trail alone. But anyway, I do hope that you have a wonderful experience out on the trail. Again, you know, just remember that one step in front of the other, one foot in front of the other gets you to Maine. And I would tell myself that all the time on days where it was just like pouring rain or my feet were really hurting. I would just watch my feet go one in front of the other. And I'm like, if I keep doing this, I'm gonna get to Maine and you will too. And 
remember the saying that you'll probably grow to hate by the time you get to Maine. No pain, no rain, no Maine, or no rain, no pain, no Maine, however you want to say it. But anyway, oh, I'm just so excited for you. I wish that I was back out on the trail. I miss the AT so much and definitely have a feeling that I'll end up doing it again someday. But anyway, soak it all in. This is probably the freest that you've ever been in your life. So really uh, appreciate that even on days where you're like, ugh. You know, this sucks. All right, well, enough preaching. I do hope that you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Keith, thank you so much for letting me be a part of y'all's Valentine's Day together. Um, and, you know, the encouragement uh, for Throttle. And I think that it's really special that the two of y'all have each other because a lot of partners aren't as supportive as it seems like Keith is of you, Throttle. So. Anyway, all right, y'all, have a good one. Happy trails, and we'll see y'all later. Can y'all believe that? I could not believe that. That was just so amazing. Thank you, Dixie. She'll probably never see this, but thank you so much. That was just exactly what I needed. Okay, so I was looking at my Marmot precip, and I'm seeing, like, where the liner is um, peeling off and my I have some Columbia rain pants and they're they're doing the same way around the bottom cuffs and so just to be safe in the Smokies because it is gonna uh, be a little bit rainy and snowy at the first of my week as I'm going in I picked up these at Walmart for like 20 bucks the frog togs so this just gives me a little bit more confidence that I'm not going to get wet and freeze the next morning. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready, getting my stuff laid out, ready for another week. I um, found a hole in my duplex um, in the netting. So I had my husband to bring some uh, needle and thread. So I sewed that up. So I'm excited about that. I don't know if the mouse did it or if it got caught in the zipper. I've tried to be really careful with it, but it, nonetheless, it, had, it did have a hole. And I already told you I replaced my um, rain gear with the frog togs. I'm gonna try that. And I also, um, I'm using a zero degree quilt from Enlightened Equipment and it um, I'm a side sleeper and I toss and turn back and forth constantly through the night and um, so this I don't know if you can see this is my quilt it has two bags in it now um, so when I'm tossing and turning the, the quilts strap down to your pad and I pop those straps off quite often in the night and then you lose all your heat that you've built up from your quilt. The quilt works great as far as holding in heat, but I just, I'm not sleeping well and I toss and turn too much. And so anyway, so for the smoky, since I am gonna, it's gonna be in the teens and there's a little bit of light slow when I start, um, this week, um, I had him to bring, I had a really thin sleeping bag that's like rated for 50. So I had him to bring that and I'm gonna put it inside of my quilt. And that way I'm doubling up and I don't have to worry about that thing popping off and losing all my heat at one time. It just gives me that little bit of security. And so I'm sending home my, um, liner that I decided to bring last minute. So I'm sending home my liner. I'm sending home my tripod just for this week um, to save weight since I'm adding a little bit of extra weight with an extra sleeping bag. And what else? My sit pad, just any little thing that I'm not using a whole lot. I'm sending home just to save a little bit of weight for this week so I can carry um, some reassurance with me so I don't get too cold in case I do have to sleep in those shelters and it's in the teens. So anyway, I just want to give a little gear update while I'm here in town and, uh, yeah. Oh, 
my husband <laughs> is at the laundromat. This hotel didn't have any kind of laundry options. So he is at the laundromat doing my laundry. And I'm going to put a picture of that next. So you can see this is true love right here, guys.